Okay, so let's see if you are a certified professional math expert in the area of percent. So let's take a look at this simple question, and that is 8 is what percent of 50? And obviously, this is a multiple choice uh, question. So which is the right answer? All right, now feel free to use a calculator, but you could definitely do this problem without a calculator. But either way, if you have the right answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, we'll walk through exactly how to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so again, you can use a calculator here, but it's not necessary. So eight is what percent of 50? So our first choice, uh, A, is 4%, B is 16%, C is 32%, and D is 44%. All right, let's go to take a look at the answer. The correct answer is B, 16%. All right, now, if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face, an A plus, a 100%, and a certificate of excellence to verify that you are indeed a professional expert in the area of percent. Now, if there's any one thing that you really need to understand in math for practical real life math, that is percent. If you think about it, how often throughout the day are you seeing this symbol? It's everywhere. If you go to the store, you see things that are on sale. You're watching a commercial. You know, they're talking about a certain interest rate or whatever the case is. You have to understand percent. And uh, we will review some uh, basic concepts of percent. And here's the thing. On this particular problem, uh, you can solve it in various ways. So if you use the calculator, that's fine. But actually, this problem is very easy to solve without a calculator. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the solution right now. All right, so first things first, uh, here is the problem. And the question is what? Well, 8 is. Now, one thing that you want to realize in mathematics, when you see the word is, that's always the equal sign. So effectively, you can kind of think of this this way, 8 is equal to what percent of 50? All right, so again, this word is is the equal sign. Now, uh, how can we solve this problem? Well, we do have a multiple choice uh, question here. So what we could possibly do, if you have a calculator or so inclined, you could say, you know what, I'm going to take 4% of 50. All right, so I'm going to take 4% of 50, and I'm going to see if this is 8. All right, so if we take 4% of 50 and our answer is 8, well, then 8 is 4% of 50. So let's go ahead and start checking uh, these problems. And this is one strategy that you could take on a multiple choice exam. All right, so 4% of 50, how do we find a percent of a number? Well, what we need to do is change the percent to a decimal. All right, so how do we do that? Well, basically, we're going to take this percent and divide by 100. So that's equal to 0.04. Now, some of you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, why do all of that? Just move the decimal point over uh, two places to the left. Yes, you would be correct. But basically, moving the decimal point over two places to the left is the result of dividing by 100. So 4% is 4.0%. We need to uh, figure out what the decimal point's at. And then, of course, we could just move that decimal point over two places. We have 0 0.04. All right, so we are we're going to change that percent to a decimal and then multiply by the number. So 4% of 50 is 0 0.04 times 50. That is 2. Well, that is not the right answer. So A is not the right choice. Now let's go ahead and check B, which of course is the right answer, but let's suppose obviously didn't know this. So we'll take 16% of 50. So this is going to be 0.16, right? We're just going to move the decimal point over two places to the left. So 0.16 times 50, that is 8. All right, so this is saying 16% of 50 is, remember that equal sign is 8, or another way to say this is 8 is 16% of 50. So we kind of go back to our question, uh, 8 is what percent of 50? Well, 8 is 16% of 50. So again, different strategies you can take uh, to solve this problem. And uh, knowing all these strategies is important because when you are taking a math exam, 
and you have a multiple choice math question. Uh, typically, not all the times, but um, I would say more than 50% of the time, uh, you can use the answers to uh, basically uh, solve the problem. Even if you don't know how to solve the problem directly, you can use the answers still, uh, to still get to the solution. So this is really important for those of you out there that uh, still have to take math tests. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about another way to solve this problem. So this is going to kind of bring up a quick review of percent. All right, so eight is what percent of 50? Well, let's take a simpler example uh, of this problem. How about 20, uh, 25 is what percent of 100? So let's say I said, hey, excuse me, uh, 25 is what percent of 100? Now, most of you might be saying, come on, uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, you should know that uh, it's 25%, and you would be right. But what's going on here? Well, how do we get to this answer? Because 25 out of 100, so in other words, you know, if I was to give you a quarter out of $1, right, which is 100 pennies, well, that's 25% of $1. So I think most people uh, realize that, but technically what's going on here is that we are comparing this number to 100, right? So 25 over 100 is equal to the uh, decimal 0.25. It's also equal to the fraction 1 fourth. But we can just go into our calculator, take 25 divided by 100, or just say, oh, this is 25 hundredths. So we have 0.25. So uh, here we have a decimal, but we want a percent. So we're going to do the reverse. Remember when we uh, went from a percent to a decimal, we divided by 100 to go from a decimal to a percent. We multiply by 100. So 0.25 times 100 is 25 percent. Okay, so I think most of us hopefully understand it, but there's another great little aspect to what I'm doing here, and that is I'm giving you the actual technical definition of percent. So if I asked you, hey, what is percent? What's the definition of percent? Well, the definition of percent is when we compare a number to 100, okay? So when uh, we have a fraction and the denominator is 100, the top number is in fact the percent. That is the definition of percent. All right, now let's take a look at another version of this problem that's a little bit more interesting. How about this? 25 is what percent of 75? Now here, uh, we have a different number other than 100. So we need to kind of use another model of percent, and that is some part out of a whole, okay, some part out of a whole. So over here, uh, we have uh, 25 out of 100. Well, this is the part, and this is the whole, and uh, the whole just happens to be 100, okay? But basically, we're comparing a part of something out of the total amount of something, basically, you know, pretty much like a pizza, uh, a slice of pizza here, four slices, if you will, so how you know, if you want one slice, and let me kind of start here, I'm um, uh, tripping up on my words. So let's say I have a pizza with four slices. All right, so there we go. All right, now one slice is what? Well, this would be one part out of a total, okay, whole of four. So one fourth, which of course, uh, one fourth is the same thing as 25 or 100, which is 25%. Okay, but we, need, we can use the same concept over here to answer this question. So 25 is what percent of 75? And a lot of people just intuitively know the answer. They're like, hey, Mr. Tim Math Man, that's 33.3%. Indeed, it is, but what we're gonna do is compare the part to the whole. So 25 over 75. And now on our calculator, if we divide 25 by 75, we get 0.3 re, uh, repeating. We just got a bunch of threes over and over again. But uh, instead of writing this as 0.3 repeating, when you put a little bar over the number, that means this digit repeats infinitely, excuse me. But uh, the reason why I'm kind of out, writing out these digits is because we want to express this decimal as a percent. So we have to multiply 100 uh, by 100 or move the decimal point over two places to the right. So we get up, uh, so we get 33.3% uh, is the uh, percentage. 25 is uh, what percent of 75? 33.3%. Okay, so hopefully this all makes sense. And now we can use this knowledge to solve the problem in another way. All right, so let's go ahead and do that right now. So eight is what percent of 50? Well, let's go ahead and do it this way. We'll do it the long way, then I'll show you the easy way without a calculator uh, in just one second. All right, so eight is what? Well, this is the part, right? So we're asking 
uh, uh, this is the part again, and this is the whole. So we've already looked at two examples of this problem. So we're gonna compare the part over the whole. So eight, <clears throat> excuse me, eight over 50. So we take eight divided by 50 in our calculator. We're gonna get 0.16. And then of course we can multiply by 100 or move the decimal point over two places to the right. We get 16%, which is the right answer. All right, so um, <clears throat> now I'm gonna uh, kind of save the best for last. And my voice is kind of cracking up here, but so I got to rush. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so here we go. So we did, um, you know, we kind of covered uh, a lot of different aspects of percent, and I wanted to do that because percent is so critical. But remember, the definition of percent is when we compare a number by 100. All right. So when we compare our eight over 50, let's say right here. Okay. So we're this is the, we're going to compare the part over the whole. Now, if we have a calculator, you can just divide 8 uh, divided by 50, and we get the decimal. But let's go ahead and do this right here. So we're going to compare 8 over 50. But you're saying to yourself, hey, that Mr. YouTube Math Man said if I compare this number to 100, that's the actual answer. So how can we take a 50 and turn it into 100? Easy. Just multiply by 2. Okay. So if I multiply the denominator by 2, i got to multiply the numerator by 2. And guess what? We end up with this equivalent fraction, 16 over 100. Okay, now the whole reason I did that is so we have a denominator that is 100. So 16 out of 100 by definition is 16%. All right, so again, if there's one thing that you need to understand in mathematics, okay, uh, and this is something that I've heard years and years and years, you know, decades of teaching is why I have to learn, why do I have to learn math? Well, you know, uh, you may not be doing calculus or quadratic equations on an everyday basis. But I can, I can almost guarantee you that you are doing percent calculations pretty frequently, okay? And you've got to understand this. All right, now you can see here I have this lovely subscribe uh, kind of, um, uh, um, you know, word right here written out. Now, why would I have this? Well, I need your help, okay? <laughs> if you got something out of this content, well, I hope I helped you, all right? And that's why I post these videos. That's why I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years and have, I think, around 3,000 uh, videos. Uh, I love being on YouTube. It's a great platform for me to teach, but as a math teacher, um, my, I'm the happiest when my classroom is the largest. And the more students I have, the better. And uh, anyways, the only way I can reach more people is by having people like yourself saying, all right, Mr. YouTube Math Man, not too bad of a job in this video. I'll go ahead and hit that uh, subscribe button. That really does help me out. And it's a great way to support what I do. And if you're going to do that, hit that notification bell uh, so you can get my latest videos. All right, now let's go ahead and real quick, talk about how to improve and percent and basic mathematics. I got a couple great options for you. Now, um, it all depends on where you're at in life. If you are a math student, uh, this is a pretty easy uh, percent problem, and you're going to be challenged with more interesting percent problems that require, you know, typically require the use of algebra. So if you are uh, you know, basically taking, you know, um, an algebra course, you can check out my pre-algebra or algebra one courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. I cover uh, percent and more challenging percent problems in there. Now, if you want just a basic, quick basic math review or refresher of basic math skills, uh, check out my math foundations course. This is a quick, short course that covers, uh, as I said, basic arithmetic to include percent, fractions, decimals, and everything. A lot of practical mathematic, mathematics in here. But if you kind of, um, well, kind of rebuild uh, those math skills that you lost way back maybe in the 1970s or 60s, <clears throat> excuse me, then check out my math skills rebuilder course. Here we start with basic math, then we get into a bunch of algebra, geometry, even some trigonometry and probability and statistics. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.